session talked about our miracle and how that it's been tough times, it's been rough times, but it's gone. The sister talked about how that uh, this, this old life ain't all about easy. It ain't That's all it. about just everything ain't from room to fill a glass. You know, and it just ain't everything just always like it's supposed to be. But you know, there, there's going to be a lot of hard times. And let's have Dennis and Kimberly here tonight, too. Pretty yeah. 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 There's a lot of hard times. That we're going to come about, we're going to have in our lives, we're going to go through. A lot of hard times. Yeah, don't ever get, don't ever get it in your mind. Because the devil's trying to make you think now. That you're not qualified to be actually, to be a child of God if you're having a hard time. Uh, you got to remember that line, you can't just tell the true stuff on the stock Bible. That's right. You just can't do it. So, tonight, I take us to an old familiar passage. One that I don't know how many times I've preached out of this, but it's been, it's been a few. But the Lord keeps taking me back to it. First Kings, chapter number 17, verse number 8. First Kings 17, verse number 8. Hallelujah. Y'all probably could just try to quote it with me by now. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, and give thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zion, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he rose and went to Zarephath. When he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering her sticks, and he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Uh -huh. She didn't say anything, but as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And then she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal and a bird, and a little oil and a crude. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. But I have to say unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord. Mm. Uh -huh. That sounds like some miracle working territory just opened up right here. That's right. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. You ever been bad enough? You ever been low enough that, that you just said, well, I'm just going to go get a little bit and just go die. Uh -huh. I'm going. Yeah. Here I go. This woman was standing in the miracle work of territory, Sister Russell. Uh -huh. She was some, uh, Come on. Yeah. Oh, she said, I pray the Lord fix to come on and do something all up in this place. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Now he said, For thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. God of Israel, the barrel of bills shall not waste, neither shall the crew of the Lord fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she and he in her house did eat many days. That's yes, right. Amen. Amen. Tonight we're going to talk about sometime you just got to wait for the miracle to open up. Yes, Amen. 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 Open it up tonight. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing, what you're about to do. We give you praise, glory, and honor, Lord, in it. Let everything be done tonight according to your will, your plan. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for standing for the reading of the word. This woman was just minding her own business. She was out there.
Sarah said she was out in the gate with the city of love. She was picking up sticks. Now look, folks, she wasn't out there gathering up so she could have enough sticks to cook four or five meals or cook for four or five days. It said she told the man of God, she said, I'm just going to have to finish sticks. All right. Ain't nothing to just spend my song. I got a handful of meal. It ain't going to take more than two sticks to cook a piece of bread on that. Not what I got left. But the man of God said, All right, let me hear. Thus saith the Lord. So now he's seen no one was in a bad shape now. He's yeah. seen a good woman. Got a young boy. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. He got no way to help. Yeah, that's right. So now the Lord says, I have set everything up the way it needs to be. You know what? We sing that song that rough side of the mountain. Yeah. Talking about going up the rough side of the mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever been up the rough side of that mountain?
wasn't no, this wasn't no light thing here. Uh -huh. This woman was fearing. She's saying, hey, I'm not going to eat my kids. We're going to starve them. Right. Right. Hello? Yeah. This was a bad situation. But yet the Lord stepped right up in the middle of it. Right. He said, right. he said right. let, let me show you what your faith, what your faith can do. Come on. Yeah. 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 That's right. He stepped right up in the middle of it. And that other old woman, she didn't have to worry about where her next meal was coming yeah. from. Because yeah. every time she went to the barrel, right. she opened up that barrel and she said, Woo, look at here. Got some more meal. Come on, some more bread. Hey, I need a little bit of oil. Whoa, got small. You know I've been using that same bottle. Come uh on. -huh. You know, yeah. It's been a long time. That little bottle ain't never run out. I know. She didn't have to worry about oil. She didn't have to worry about the, about the meal. It was That's all the way right. to the That's right, man. Uh, Once God gives you a break on something. He got provision for it. It just keeps coming. Amen. It just keeps coming. Amen. You remember there was another story there in, in Kings, I believe that was in Second Kings, if I remember right, about the woman who the creditors was coming to take her kids. Uh -huh. Remember that? Uh -huh. remember that. Yeah. yeah. And he said, What you got in the house? And God asked her, said, What you got in the house? She said, I have nothing except a crude oil. Well, oil was money. Back in the day, still days. That was worth a lot back in those days. That was oil and salt. That was two things. And that, that paid for on the soldiers and salt. All right, so she said, I don't have nothing but like crude oil. He said, well, give it here. She, she, he takes it and he says, look, take this and you go in the house, fold up the doors, Get every pot, every pan, every old mason jar, whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Get all that you can get. If you ain't got enough, go borrow from your neighbor. Uh, right. She went out and she started pouring the oil in these vessels. And that little bit that she had filled up a big jug. Then it filled up another jug. She said, hey boys, go get some more pots. Go get some pan. Uh, go, get, go get something. Get something. Pour this in. Uh, and she kept pouring and it kept going. And it kept pouring and it kept running. And it kept pouring and it kept running. Amen. Finally, they said, We ain't got no more pots. We ain't got nothing else. We, everybody, we done got everybody's pots. What do we do now? She said, Well, I don't know. And when there was nothing else to pour into, the old stayed and quit. That's right. God gives you a miracle. And as long as you keep reveling in it, as long as you keep speaking, as long as you keep letting it out, he'll keep that thing working. Yeah. If you ever walk out, if you ever run out of something, yeah. some praise, or something to talk about, and you just shut down on it, then that miracle will stop and we got to go on to the next one. I heard Sister Buster Manning preaching. 
message one time. She uh, she caught this it back. Who is it? I can't remember now. It was back in early 2000, late 1900s. One thing I can't remember. She uh, she preached a message. Let it out. Let it out. We're not supposed to just hold it in. We're supposed to let it out. As long as we're letting it out, God, that's letting that anointing flow. Right. But when you stop, when you run out of something to flow into, then it stops. Amen. That's right. Hello. That's right. So, you've been having a hard time? Been having, seems like all hell broke loose in your life, just to be honest? Let me let you in on a little secret. You're standing in miracle territory tonight. You're standing in miracle territory tonight. And the Lord's saying, He's saying, just, just do a little bit for me first. Just, just, just bring me a little offering first. Just bring me a little. Just bring me a little praise. Just bring me a little adoration. Just yes. bring me a little worship. Yes. Just bring me a little bit. I know, I know it's been tough. I know it's been hard. I know it's, you know, it's, it's not really looking up all that. We've been looking down more than up. But you know what? He's saying, just bring me a little something so I can pour something out to you. Just, just bring me a little something so I can bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're standing in miracle territory. Man. You're standing in miracle territory. I've been there. I've been in a place where I just thought, don't look like God's going to do what. What I'm wanting him to do don't look like he's moving like I think he ought to. I think I'm just about ready to just give up on this. I ain't gonna ask anybody to raise their hand. Time is hard. Things wasn't just wasn't going like I need them to go. Heart broke. Head hurt. It's about enough. Come on. But he wasn't trying to run me away, Sister Jewel. He was trying to get me to come to him. And that's what he did. That's what he did. Thank God that I wasn't stupid enough and hard headed enough that I turned to one way. But I draw a knife. I was hurt. I was uncomfortable. That's right. Wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. But God. Amen. He stepped right up in the middle of all that situation. Yes, he did. Yes. He says, peace, be still. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes. Now all of a sudden, those little rocking waves I was on before. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Hear me say, and I never walked into another situation like that again. I'm not going to stand in the house of God and lie. I'm not going to stand up in here and lie. You're going to go through trouble. That song right there, the reason I thought about that song, the wise man, old Joe. Amen. He said, Life is but a few days. Of 
Say, he about to get kicked in the shirt. Y'all are stupid. Don't take me up on this roof. Y'all are going to kill me. Finish me off. Uh -huh. Amen. What are you doing? Might be like one of these poor old folks that I've seen standing at the altar trying to get the Holy Ghost from people wanting to shake it out and let them press it back in. Yeah. Yeah. They got the Holy Ghost, I think, sometimes out of just sheer uh, self preservation <laughs> They thought they were going to shake them to death. Don't do that, by the way. That ain't quite good. But, this old boy. He got his healing. Now, I can go through the Bible and tell you most of these other ones. It's the same story that we know. The woman with this issue of blood, Brother Steve mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. She was in miracle worker territory. Yeah, I'm not sure it was. And she said, if I could just walk up in here, I'm going to get healed. That's just true. like them old boys on the roof said, if we can lay down there, yeah. Yeah. she'll be healed. You come out of this hole. That's right. Just like that centurion. Oh, Jess. He was in miracle working territory. Why? Because he walked up there where Jesus was. That's right. That's right. You got to get close to him if you want out of your situation. Amen. Hello. Amen. Hello. And little old mama, little old woman. She didn't just get to say, all right, get your bread, have fun, I'm going to die. Yeah. She walked up and she said, yeah. Yeah. Take that. She got close to the presence of God. That's right. And she got her deliverance. She got her salvation. That was salvation a different way. It saved the flesh. That's right. That's right. But Brother Thomas, don't you just imagine by him saving that flesh that day that it so impressed that little mama that she lived the rest of her life for God? Amen. Anything and everything she could do for God, anything that she ever thought God wanted to do, don't you know that little mama was so impressed by what he'd done that she did everything she could to please the Almighty God? Amen. Don't you imagine she died as a righteous woman? Yeah, exactly. Makes you wonder her son was, she said. Yeah. See, that's the thing, too. We don't know who anybody is. Uh -huh. nope. We don't know who's... I've said this before. You don't know who you're going to bring to the to the Lord and get them close to the Lord. You don't know if that may be the next great preacher. Uh -huh. You don't know if that may be the next missionary that leads thousands of people. To the Lord. That's right. You never know. That's right. That little boy back turned out to be one of the great apostles of back in them days. Who knows? That's right. Maybe the granddaddy, great granddaddy, or some of the apostles. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We don't know. But I know this. I know that you are standing on miracle ground tonight. Yes. Oh. Yeah. If you don't believe it, that's fine. Yeah. I'm going to stand on it myself. Amen. Because I don't know about you, but the things, they, they can be going okay. <laughs> but I know that there's a possibility that that's facing the flip. That's facing the change. I'd rather just stay in miracle territory. Yeah. That way, maybe I don't have to keep waiting so long to get up that mountain. Maybe it'll be more like a mountain, uh, a, 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 a man hill, you know, yeah. instead of a mountain. Amen. 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 It won't take me near long to get over it and get done with it. That's right. That's what I like. I don't. I like them short tests. Yeah. Anybody when he's in school, you like them long tests? You got to test them twenty-five pages long. Oh. I'm 
way of living life. Yeah. I would not rather have some sort of sweetness get this over now. Every time you get afraid, Lord, let me learn this quick. Yeah. So I get by this thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need to go around this mountain seven, eight times. Uh -oh. I don't need to go around the same mountain for 40 years.